Hey y'all, my name is Danielle and I just wanted to share with you a few patterns that, that I bought at the recent Joanne sale. Simplicity, Butter, and Vogue were all on sale and I picked up a few. Um, the first one is this one shoulder dress by Mimi G. The pattern number, and I'll have to open the envelope to see the pattern number because these were display copies, but this pattern number is 9776. This next one is Simplicity 9749. It's a cute top pattern. Um, this one is actually one of the newer ones. This was another display copy. The pattern number is 9789. It's got um, two versions of the top, also pants and a skirt. Thought that was real cute. And I heard another YouTuber talk about this, um, the top. And she had seen um, an actual designer dress that was made similar to this. So um, basically all you would do is lengthen that top for a dress. And I think that'd be something I might want to try also. Um, this is another Simplicity top pattern. And... The pattern number is 9784. This top has an open back with the ties. Um, I think that's, that's going to be really cute. It looks like an easy sew pattern. Um, this one is a Simplicity reprint um, from a vintage pattern. The Simplicity pattern number, and I already pulled the guide sheet out um, but the pattern number is simplicity 9793 this one it's a really pretty um, sleepwear or teddy pattern with a robe and sash and this pattern number is 9802 it's another Mimi G pattern has like a keyhole opening in the front and it's a knit pattern. Um, the actual pattern number is 9778. A lot of these look like really simple patterns. Um, a lot of them you can make out of knits and it looks like a lot of them only take a few hours. Um, I bought three Vogue patterns. This top one version has just a, a halter neckline and the other version has um, a, an open back, still like a halter top um, neckline, but it has an open back. This is the line drawings. This was another display copy and the actual pattern number is Vogue 1955, 1955 for that one. one is Vogue 1956. This is a woven pattern. Um, still looks like a pretty simple top. I don't think I would make the long sleeve version though. I think I kind of prefer the other one. The sleeveless. These pants. This is Vogue 1958. I like the, I think I really bought it for the shorts though. Even though I like the wild leg pant, um, what really drew me to this pattern was the shorts. And I'm hoping I can make that before um, before the weather gets cool. I live in Georgia and like the weather probably won't get actually cool until September. So I think I've got some time to, to make that one. It's a Butterick, I only bought three Butterick. This one is, 6946. I bought this one for the shorts also, but I've seen um, some ready to wear short sets with this type of shirt and the shorts. So hoping I can try that one before it gets warm. This one is Butterick 6948. This is um, sort of a wardrobe builder pattern. You've got the, um, the jacket, you got, uh, well, jacket with and without sleeves. You got a top 
a dress, kind of like a chic dress and pants. So not sure if I'll use all the, or make all the pieces from it, but I thought this was a good pattern. Um, I really like the, that jacket. And the last pattern is this one, it's Butterick 6942. I like the dress with the flared skirt. Um, on the line drawings, you can see that it has, like the way the straps are on the back. Well, you can see it here too. I really don't like the way the straps are. I like the neck um, band, but I'm not sure if I'm really feeling the, the straps, the way they go um, on the back. But um, yeah, those are all the patterns I bought at the recent sale. Normally, um, I don't buy a lot of patterns. I have a lot of patterns already. Every now and then, the they'll come out with a few new ones that I like and I want to get. Um, and a lot of times I'm influenced by other people online, other creatives that share their pattern hauls and I'll be, you know, I'll kind of want to go out and get the ones that they have. Um, and I think for now, I don't, there's not really any patterns that I want to get. Um, McCall's has just released some new ones. Um, the Nomi patterns have released some new ones. So there's a few of those that I'll plan to get. I think Simplicity, um, yeah, they're on the Simplicity website now, but I think Joanne will actually have them on sale, I believe next week, maybe the 11th. Um, so just be on the lookout for those if you have a Joanne store in your area, or if you go to the Simplicity website, which is simplicity.com, you can catch sales on those patterns. Um, anyway, that's the end of my video. Those are all the patterns I bought recently. If you caught the last sale, let me know in the comments which ones you've gotten. That's the end of my pattern haul. If you like this video, please like the video and consider subscribing to my channel. Also, if you picked up a few patterns at the last sale, leave a comment to let me know which ones you picked out. If you see some familiar ones in my haul, let me know that as well. Um, anyway, that is all for now. Again, my name is Danielle. Thank you so much for watching.